people don't know what's going on with us. They don't know if we have a record deal or not. They don't know if we've been dropped. We want to show the world where we are now. We're trying, okay? We don't have a label. <laughs> we don't have um, somebody that is uh, funding us right now. We're doing this on our own, and we don't work. We're working on a lot of stuff, y'all. Not everything happens the way that you want it to. It's, it's called life. But one thing I can say is we haven't given up. <laughs> Brianna. Hey guys, my name is Brianna DeBlue. I'm from Trenton, New Jersey. And I've been doing music ever since I can remember. I grew up in the studio. Um, my dad did music. He was in a, a male singing group. My entire family did music. Everybody in my family played an instrument or sang. So growing up, it was just a very musical world for me. If I ain't got nothing, I got you. If I ain't got something, I don't give a damn. Cause I got it with you And I don't know much about algebra But I know One plus one equals two And it's me and you Kind of got into music in college because for a long time my mom really was kind of against it just because she saw everything my dad went through in the music industry and so she didn't really support that but she did allow me to sing in church so I sang in a church choir for a little while. One day I was on Instagram and I saw a post that Frank Gatson was going to be in the city and he was holding audition. I was like, I have to take this opportunity because I knew exactly who he was and who he had worked with and all the artists that he developed. So I skipped class and I went to the audition and I didn't know what it was for. I didn't know what was gonna happen from it. I got a random phone call from these people and they were like, yo, we want you to come audition for Kelly Rowland and Frank Jackson be, you know, in their group. And I was like, wait, what? Like, I was confused because it was such it was, it was so long ago that I thought that I just didn't get the audition for whatever it was and I didn't know what it was for so it was kind of crazy that they were calling me back now and the level that the opportunity was, it was so crazy to me. I was like, okay, well, where do I need to be? What do I need to do? Um, I went to the audition in New York and I auditioned for the group and then I got a call back for later that day. Did the call back and then I found out they wanted me to actually come to LA and be on the show Chasing Destiny, and that's how I got into this group. Gabby, welcome to the group. I'm Gabby, I'm from Glendale, California. Music has always been uh, a great, a big part of my life. When I was younger, my dad was a bass player, and so he would always um, play different sorts of music in the house. We'd always have music playing from jazz to Bulgarian choirs, to the Beatles, to the Talking Heads, super wacky music. He has really, really eclectic taste. So I always had a taste for the art. It's been moments, it's been hours, it's been days without you. By now I'd be counting sheep, but I don't sleep enough. And I think of all the moments that I've had without you. Convince myself I was happy then, but I can't pretend for long. I live inside my head. It's the only place that I can be, cause all I see is you. And when it's all said and done, you're the one who left, so that makes me the brave one, makes me the brave one. Tell me why I feel this pain every time I hear your name. Maybe I'm just bitter, and they 
they tell me that it's gonna be alright without you. And my dad was always big on letting me express myself, whether it was through music or through acting, um, anything. We watched a whole bunch of movies, we always watched plays, we always went to museums, aquariums, everything like that. So I was really appreciative of visual and performing arts from when I was a little kid. I joined choir, my dad made me join choir. I didn't really want to, but you know, he thought it was gonna be a good idea. I hated it at first. And then I started to love it. I started to really bond with the people next to me and I started to fall in love with creating sound with other people. And I loved it. I did choir all throughout um, elementary school. I, I did drama club, I did plays, I did musicals. Uh, love, love the arts. Never really thought about being a professional singer just because I thought that every 12 year old wanted to do the same thing, you know, and how many people really got to do it. And so I just figured, um, I would be a teacher. I love other things too. So I, I love to read. I, I'm very curious about everything. And so um, I wanted to be a teacher for special ed kids. So when I went to college, I was taking child psychology classes and I kind of forgot about singing a little bit. I had my small outlets. I would play my ukulele. I'd write songs sometimes. And music always had a dear part in my heart, whether or not I was a star. So it really didn't matter to me. Um, and then one day I randomly heard about the audition for Chasing Destiny. I thought it was a scam. I didn't know what the heck it was. Uh, it's like a friend of a friend told me, maybe you should do this thing. And I was like, okay, I have nothing else to do on a Saturday. Uh, and so I did it. I learned the audition song the day before. Uh, if anybody watched my audition, I did stumble through some words. Uh, it's very evident that I didn't know the song. Um, and uh, I didn't think that I would make it, but luckily I did. I packed enough clothes for maybe a week because I was like, nah, I'm going to get on this show, but I'm going to get eliminated because everybody else has more experience. Like, there's no way I'm going to make it. And I had to keep going back home for more clothes because I was still there. Crystal. Hey everybody, my name is Crystal Smith and I am from Gastonia, North Carolina, or better yet, Charlotte, because a lot of people don't know Gastonia is like this big. Um, but been doing music uh, professionally since the age of 12, um, but I've always been a singer ever since I was a little girl. Um, always been exposed to music. My dad is a bass player. Um, played in a band that traveled the world. My mom was also a singer. That's kind of how they met, if you know what I mean. Um, my mom sung Lee in my dad's band. Um, and then here I am. I became a part of those two. Um, always been around music. I always enjoyed anything to do with the arts. Um, I love to paint. Um, I love to decorate. Just anything that shows um, my creativity. I love to do it. Um, I started singing really, really young, um, playing around with my dad. My dad, we always had a music room in our house, so um, I always grab a microphone, sing along with my dad. even though I didn't learn it as much as I wanted to. Um, it was always something that I picked around on. But probably uh, around the age of seven, started singing in church, um, just getting involved in more uh, church-related you know, things and singing um, with my dad. At the age of eight, I actually sung in my first club, 
I was eight years old um, and it was a country club and I sung Leanne Rhymes Blue. Um, so I just started doing all the talent shows. My mom would take me to any and everything there was to showcase my voice. I went on to uh, do a few performances for different labels. Um, at the age of 13, I flew out to LA with my mom and got my first record deal, um, which is where I actually met Frank Gatson. Hey, Frank. Um, flew out there, met him, um, and the ball kind of just got rolling from there. Um, from there, had a deal, um, went from that deal to another deal. Um, I was pretty seeing another girl group uh, called Rich Girl. Uh, which was a blessing because because of that group now being in the group that I'm in now, um, it just taught me a lot of things and you know showed me a lot of things that I can now share with my sisters um, and also you know kind of help them through the whole process of being in the music business. I've been blessed to uh, sing background for um, some other incredible artists uh, like Usher. Um, I sang background for Stevie Wonder. That completely just. You know. Blew my mind. Um, been blessed to tour uh, with Beyonce, Kevin Hart, uh, Mario, uh, Raheem Devon. Uh, shoot, what else? Uh, the list is long. Um, R. Kelly now, uh, Escape now. Uh, the list is just growing and growing. I'm just so thankful to be here. Um, when I heard about the audition for Chasing Destiny, um, I actually got a phone call from Frank Gatson and he said, I think I might have something that you may or may not be interested in. Um, this may be another situation, another girl group. Would you be interested? And I was like, um, yeah, I just want to sing. It's what I love to do. Um, whether I'm by myself or I'm with the group, you know, I felt like this would be a great opportunity. Um, so I went out to LA. Um, me and Ashley actually came on the show at the same time and it was kind of weird for us because the girls were already there. So we were kind of like tiptoeing in like, hey y'all, we, we know we haven't been here, but hey, we're here. So it was kind of awkward because all the girls had already kind of went through that process. Um, thank God uh, that I was chosen to be a part of the group. Um, kind of like my second chance, you know? So I didn't really, I was hoping for it, but I didn't really expect it. Um, so I'm very grateful, very happy to be here. Um, very blessed to have four sisters who are like the baddest. I'm trying to figure out how I never heard of these girls before. Like some of the most incredible singers ever, ever. Um, it's just been a beautiful experience. It's just been, the best, I, I, I could have never imagined it being this good. Like we just clicked, we bonded, um, we love each other so much. We all have something, you know, to teach the next one. And I just think that's what makes us June's Diary. <laughs> about my studies, I was very into um, watching the doctor shows, ER, uh, 
different shows like that, but I came to love music when I was 12 years old when I was asked to be in my church choir. And I didn't think it was something that I would really, really love because I had never done it before. But um, my pastor would always call on me to sing certain songs and I was always the girl picked for the Black History play or the Easter play to sing a certain song at the lead of the play. And I just fell in love with music. I wrote my first song at the age of 12 and I ended up going to co uh, high school in Compton, Kendrew Magnet High School of Medicine and Science. And I was in the hospital program. Slowly but surely, I began to find that I was not that great at chemistry, physics, and biology. So I kind of had to switch things up a bit and I kind of dedicated my life to music. Strumming my pain with his fingers. Singing my life with his words. Killing me soft. With his song, killing me softly. With his song, telling my whole life. With his words, killing me softly. With his song, boom, 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 boom. I heard he sang a good song. I heard he had style. And so I came to see him and listen for a while. And there he was, this young boy. Stranger to my eyes, showing my pain with his fingers. One time, one time. Singing my life with his words. Killing me softly with his song. Killing me softly with his song. Telling my whole life with his words, killing me softly. Oh, I got a manager. I was doing talent shows pretty much every month. I was in the studio all the time. I would literally get out of school at three o'clock and drive all the way to Ontario, which is like an hour and a half, two hours from LA, and be in the studio until like two to three in the morning. And that's where. I told myself I got my chops up. Like I learned how to record. I learned that you can't just take one take and think that that's gonna be a good take. Like you gotta do it over and over and over. And I had a really, really strict manager, but it's prepared me for everything that I'm experiencing today. And when I attended Berkeley, UC Berkeley, I started a choir, and I pretty much balanced my time between school, between the choir, and going on the road and on tour. I was on tour with Keisha Cole in 07. That was my first national tour. It was a lot of fun. And I think that was the moment where I realized maybe I really could do this for the rest of my life. And I think the biggest thing that has ever happened to me that made me feel really, really connected to music was when I was in the X Factor. And I did Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You and the video went viral. Like I didn't expect that type of feedback because I didn't even want to do the show. I was very, very skeptical of the back, the behind the scenes thing of the politics of television and being picked because you're not this color or being picked because you're this size or not being picked because you kind of can sing but this girl is cuter than you. I just, it was so many politics and I was just not into it but I feel like God called me to be in that particular place because I inspired so many people. I still get fans who walk up to me to, the, to this day and say, your story helped me. I lost my mother, I lost my father, I lost someone very, very close to me, and it helped me realize that this is not the end of the world. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. So when Chase and Destiny came about, it was another situation to where I told myself, I don't want to be in a group. I've never, ever been in a group. I'm not sure how I'll bond with girls in a group, but I did. I told myself I had nothing to lose, and I said if I didn't make it, I was going to move to LA. I mean, move to New York and try to do Broadway on a whim, label friends, couch surf, do whatever I had to take, do to pretty much make it. And I ended up getting a call back in January because I saw Frank in some random birthday party. I wasn't even supposed to be there, but he was there and God told me that this is fate. So I went through the whole process of the show and I met 
four amazing girls, in addition to all the other girls Kelly and Frank chose, and it was just one of the most amazing experiences of my life because I didn't know that there was so much positivity in so many women standing together for one particular goal, which is the love of music, which is inspiring people through song, through creativity, and just emotion and passion with whatever you love to do. So I'm really, really grateful to be here, and I'm blessed, and I can't wait to take the world by storm with Jess Diary. Cheyenne. I actually always want to be a part of something good, something great, something legendary. What's up, guys? I am Cheyenne. I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, really intrigued. I started singing when I was two years old. I've been performing since I was four and getting paid for it since I was five. I've always done it. I've done nothing else but sing. That is so precious. A name so wonderful to me. I've done Broadway, I've danced, um, I've done a little drawing here and there, and I've played the violin before, I've played piano by ear. My mother and my father met singing, so it was kind of, they made this baby that was just a musical baby. So they got me. And um, really intrigued, like I said, I've been singing for a very long time. It's always been my passion, it's always been my drive. She was like, Shannon, are you at work? I'm like, yeah. She's like, you got something from Kelly Rowland called Chasing Destiny. I was like, what are you talking about? And she was like, they want you to audition for this show. And I'm like, mom, is it real? Is it a spam? Like, what is it? She was like, no, it's real. I talked to her assistant and everything. I was like, OK, let's go. Like, I can't wait. So we did the audition. We sent in three videos. And then I got that. And then I got the call back to go to Atlanta. And I did my audition there. And it was free. <laughs> I could just remember we were sitting in there for hours in this cold room. And it was kind of like a workshop too, in a way. And when it was my turn to go, I was so nervous. And I was so cold. I was like, okay, I hope all my nerves come out right. Can I just sing and get it over with? It was, it was really fun though. I met um, some beautiful ladies, some talented ladies there. Um, we all like, we're literally sitting in a circle like kumbaya, singing it before we went and did our audition. Um, it was really fun. And then I got another call back to go to LA 
I had never been to LA, so I was really nervous and I was scared. I was like, Mom, you not come with me. This is my this is my first time to be on my own and I gotta figure everything out. So um aka the baby. Yes. So I was like really nervous, but I got through it. I just I prayed with my grandmother almost every day if I could. Um really just stay focused. Um remember what my goal was, you know, and Surprisingly, I didn't think I was gonna make it, and then when they called my name, I was like, oh! My whole heart literally dropped, and I was like, I did it! Yes. Called my mom, she was screaming, she was actually in the car on the highway. I was like, you need to pull a little, because <laughs> I don't want you to crash. So we were so excited, and then I gained four and sisters, I'm the only child. So it was different for me. I've always been by myself. So for me to actually have, you know, other girls around me and just have another family, it was really special to me. And um, I love those girls. Like they're my blood. You can't tell me that they're not. So yeah, it's been it's been really like it's been a journey, and it's been a wonderful journey. We have our ups and downs. We are real women. You know, it's no sugar cone. We talk, we communicate when it comes to certain things. It doesn't matter what it is. We sing almost everything. <laughs> like, literally everything. These shoes got to come off, come off, come off. These shoes got to come off, come off, come off. I love it, come off. Hey, come on. Not around, you wanna do this. But then, when I come around, you don't wanna post up. Homework, homework in a mother, homework. We hungry in a love, hungry, 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 hungry in a And we went in the hallway, we took the core microphones and we learned how to dance with the chords, just like how Michael Jackson and James Brown did in the days. How do y'all feel about that? Hey Gabby, move over a little bit. Just okay.
I think that it conditions us as artists and as performers. And I think that now that we're learning how to perform from the bottom, it makes us so much better. Right. Be resilient. Be fearless. Stay out of your own way. Be confident. Y'all, oh we just God. got into the tour bus. We about to head back to the hotel. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I'm Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jackson, man. Uh, yeah, our tour bus is like, oh, it's so packed with so much fun. This is so immature. Why did you move in so far? He's like, is this my mom? Wait. My mom, said, my mom said Frank is going to be mad at us. Listen, we have to live like. Mom! Oh, don't do that. Why is Frank going to be mad? Why is Frank going to be mad at us? Radio stations do it all the time. Exactly. My What's cousin just showed up. Okay, so we got to figure out who. I'm calling my cousin. Why? She knows your number. No, she don't. Oh, Hello, can I speak to Brandy? Who is this? Oh, it's Brandy. I called you. Girl, I heard that she was with my man's last night. <laughs> this is Malaysia. And I need to talk to you about the fact that she was with my man. You know who he is. You're the only one you rocking with, okay? What? I'm not playing on your phone. I'm just trying to see if you're still going to be rocking with him in the next week. Because my baby needs some shoes. You got oh oh, oh yeah. we got hung up boy damn really want to work with Ty Dolla Sign we really want to work with who are we saying the other day Ashley Ty Dolla Sign because we're definitely we're we're, def we're definitely gonna have some empowering stuff we're definitely gonna have some songs about love because that like always that. happens um maybe I don't know heartbreak we really want to do like some stuff like some interludes where it's just harmony so like instrumental type yeah. stuff where it's just yeah. vocals like our voices are the instruments yeah like, yeah like that's the yeah yeah things. that's a goal for sure that was your that was your moment though <laughs> it landed the right way where is it get your, get your, Please work a Timberland. Eh. What was that, Eddie? You know he does that. Oh, okay. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Holding on the road got me ten feet off the ground. Oh, no, one eh. That is not really? a song. Eh. That's not. It's not. <laughs> Who's that? What's Shut up, the No, he's in it. Remember? Yeah, that's him. him. Eh. Okay. He's eh, right? Timberland is the eh guy. Someone say yes. No on one is doing one song. Like, I, on that one song. <laughs> we oh, actually yeah. are about to shoot a music video for something soon. Yeah. So yeah. get ready. I'm trying to be snatched to the T, okay? Somebody is available now. They because said somebody just ended their tour, so we finally get that somebody jack. It is about to be lit because we're going into rehearsal. Like, uh, uh, uh. Mm. Mm. What, what are they saying? Here, turn it to them. An interview, how I feel about me and you. I could say a lot, but I keep it cool. I guess part of me family's a Venice move. Where you are, what I got in the end. It was as short as an interlude. Purchase. I got me a piece of cake. I see it's impossible to speak to you. That's it. That's all y'all get. Welcome Dang. to the June's Diary Cypher. Cypher, Cypher, yeah. Cypher. Woo, woo, woo. You guys can't see me. I mean. So that's a nope. <laughs> <smooth or rough. laughs> it's really rough. Crystal should be calling Crystal. Oh. No, we, no, we were oh, going to no, call her no, after we that. We were going to ask them the questions, remember? Oh. So oh, that's, that's um, that's really, really rough okay. June's Diary. It's not mixed. It's, uh, we wrote it with the four of us. Legit live and Ro Atkins. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Actually, stop hanging on my life, okay? Crystal, where's Crystal at? She, she says she can't song. request. But it was the four of us writing with Legit Live. Make sure you go follow him. And Ro Atkin, make sure you go follow him. Like yeah. I said, it's really, really rough. We haven't mixed it. The volumes was all... You know, cross did not right, yeah. and we still have a lot of ways to go. But Brianna is the logic queen, learning, and we all writing. So we're trying our best to, you know, take advantage of this this oh, experimental phase. Yeah. Huh. What do you want them to do to kind of make it? And yeah, advice for them. give to somebody who's starting out in this industry goes along with my word which is to be confident like just know yourself and know what your what your strengths are and be confident in that and any room that you walk into just be yourself and and that'll show mm -hmm. don't be afraid to be honest or be silly or make mistakes uh, always be yourself and don't think that you have to change to please other people um, yeah, I would say just don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to fall. Don't be afraid to take that step. Um, it's the step that may get you to the next place you need to be. So same thing they said, what's most important, be you. Mm -hmm. When you create, create for what you feel, not necessarily for what everybody else feels. And it'll always be genuine. One thing that you should really do is get out there and meet people. You have to network, you have to make sure that you're putting yourself in front of those people who could potentially put you in those great opportunities and just continue to knock those doors down. Never give up. Like we said, we've been singing for a very long time and the one thing that we haven't done is quit. Never quit. Take you back off. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was just saying to be humble. Really, just really be humble because you never know who's watching. So always make sure that you are being humble. <laughs> Cheyenne, what are you looking for, girl? I'm not looking are you for cleaning up? Somebody's up there doing a Beyonce tribute. Yes. Oh, okay. She got on a black dress. Hey. Look at there. There's June's diary. Hey, your butt looks great. This is like a mirror. She didn't hear what I said, y'all. Mm -hmm. I said your butt looks great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Now they know they ain't supposed to be in this or talking about this. Look at them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the four best friends that anyone ever say. No, y'all, y'all don't understand. But we, we know, we know, we know. Come on, hallelujah. We Because the artist has done right in show business last month. Yes. Right. Okay. 
the mic. Okay. A lot of you. I am 21 years old, newly, ha, huh? uh, finally legal, and what else was I supposed to say? Sorry, can I start over? <laughs> <laughs> Main age of... Ooh, am I starting over? No, you're just starting where you live. Where I left off? Oh, okay. Um, you said drop out of school with something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop it. I dropped out of college. <laughs> right. <laughs> Slaves you be seeing on the side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, 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 where you going? Hey, 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 h